Today's the day to celebrate. So congratulations on your graduation. Now, this is the 20 year um, for the Sports Recorder annual celebration. Over 12,000 people have attended this life changing event. I would like to thank this evening's host, the spokesman recorder, our event sponsors, Best Buy, UCARE, Minnesota Twins, Education Minnesota, our media sponsors, KMOJ and KTWN, and our contributors, and our contributors, which are Stage Time Production, Minneapolis Teachers Federation, St. Paul Federation Teachers, Northside Achievement Zone, Sanford Brown, Jerry, Sand Jerry and Sandra Freeman, and Michael Dial. I hope I pronounced the name right. Deal. Deal. Michael Deal. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's French right here. That's French. <laughs> okay, now it is my pleasure to present some outstanding entertainers for the Twin Cities. Are y'all ready? I know you have me written mine by being my friend. Feeling like you're a different shade. Are we one? Mostly we fought on the same side in different corners. Mostly we've been caught in the crossfire. Lately, Lately we fired, fired knowing exactly who we're aiming at. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker, Pastor Danny Givens, Jr. And so as you get that key of vision and you begin to implement vision in your life, then you have to build. Once you start building, building happens when you begin to now practice see the building doesn't doesn't require you to be perfect the building requires you just to practice to show up and at least try so there was a young man walking down the street one day it could have been a young woman too and while walking down the street this young man falls in the pit and he immediately begins to cry out somebody help me somebody help me I'm stuck in this pit and there was a man in the crowd that recognized the voice of the young man and he began to push through the crowd and then finally he gets to the pit and he jumps in And the young man says, stupid, what'd you do that for? Now we're both stuck. And the man looks at the young man and says, no, I've been here before. I know my way out. God bless you. Taking life like it ain't sacred. Only we can change it. Face it so we can rearrange it. See me running through an open door. Now, the first two scholarships tonight will be awarded by the CEO and publisher of the Minnesota Spokesman Recorder, Tracy Williams Dillard. Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing so far this evening? I can't hear you. I mean, we just had a wonderful performance of a wonderful voices. Let's give them all a round of applause. All right. Now our program is almost over, but I want, you know, I do this thing called Sister Spokesman. And always when I'm there, when we start our day off, I always make everybody know that I'm going to say, hey, sister. And what are you supposed to say? Oh, All right. So see, there's been a lot of sisters here that have been there. So what I'm saying to you tonight is when I want you to use that same loud voice when we're applauding for these young people that have achieved today, okay? So let's make sure to give them a lot of love when it's time to give them that love. But it wasn't only my parents that contributed to my education and graduation. It was the village. Grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, friends, all helped me to move from Holy Angel to Kent State University. I am pleased to present the C. Sui Newman Scholarship to Renee Jackson. Jaylene wrote an essay 
Both women pushed me to do better. They gave me my drive and perseverance to be all that I can be. They have written recommendations and stayed up all hours of the night with me as I have edited essays. These women raised the college-bound woman I am today. I am proud to present the Cecil E. Newman Scholarship to Jalen. Edwina wrote in her essay, from the minute I was born, my parents showed me what it meant to be a beautiful person inside and out. I believe my talents, work ethic, and limitless ambition will take me further than my parents or I could ever have imagined. I'm proud to present a Cecil E. Newman scholarship to Edwina King. It was these small moments in life that have shaped me into the person I am today. And I am truly grateful for everything that I have been through. Everyone I have met, and most of all, my mother and grandfather. And I am proud to present the Cecil E. Newman Scholarship to you, Jonathan. Noah wrote in his essay, my hard work resulted in my acceptance at the school of my dreams, the College of Science and Engineering at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. I am so proud to present the Cecil E. Newman Scholarship to you, Noah Brown. Abda study and learn English, and he eventually transferred to Central High School. Abda wrote in his essay, Steve learned about my background and my interests. When I needed a push on academic planning, Steve was my advisor. If I needed financial assistance, he would give me money and or become my employer to teach me time and money management. Abda is also grateful to Sophie Siegel Warren, who he met his junior year. She is his college coach, helping him found, fill out applications and scholarship request, request forms. He is very grateful for her assistance and feels he couldn't have done it without her. Abda wrote, special appreciation beyond measurement goes to both Sophie and Steve. I thank them for all of their contributions towards my future goal Abda, I am proud to present the Cecil E. Newman Scholarship Award to you. Kiera wrote, both my mother and uncle have guided me through high school, forcing me to push myself when I felt I couldn't and never letting me give up on myself. I think living with a single parent who was striving to get something more, persevering alongside her children, with words of encouragement, even when school was tough for her, makes this theme of education, it's a family affair, really come alive for me. I am proud to present a Cecil E. Newman Award to Kiera Hunter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give all of our scholarship winners a round of applause. Y'all stand up, ladies and gentlemen. Stand up and wave so you're going to take the pictures. If you can stand up, this is a beautiful thing. A lot of times now you hear about children being honored students. It's the wrong honored students. Yes, your honor. No, your honor. But these students are doing everything they can for their future. Mm -hmm.